Alrighty, what is up everybody? In this video we're going to be looking at XLM, Stellar Lumens, uh, and this was a comment request by Wildy Beast. so we are getting this done for you. Uh, if you would like a chart analyzed, throw it in the comment down there and we will certainly get to you. So looking at this right off the bat, regardless of this market downturn that we're seeing uh, yesterday and then subsequently today, we are still in a bull trend. We are making these higher lows consistently, right? So right off the bat, are we in a bull trend or a bear trend? We are in a bull trend. So probability right off the bat says don't bet against the trend. Going long is what you're going to be looking for instead of movements going short. So right off the bat here, we are looking at the one hour time frame. One hour representing one hour of price action represented in one candlestick. Right, so time frame here represents the bulls pushing it up and the bears fighting to bring it down in one hour. So right off the bat, we want to take a look at the retracement here to see if we meet any levels here or here, because then we can then represent those as levels of support. So we're going to start at the very beginning of the impulse here, which the buying impulse appears to have started right here at 23 cents. And we will drag it to the top point here, but we'll make sure it encompasses the whole chart. So it does look like we do find some support here um, at 46 cents, right? We're pretty much right there. So that would speak to a bounce. Now let's look at our indicators. Well, Stochastic says we do have room to the upside, so we are not uh, overextended there, which is a good sign for the bulls. Now, uh, MACD here, which is your MACD 1226, that is your 12-day moving average and your 26-day moving average, basically shows what is happening now or uh, in a sooner time frame. That's not the word I'm looking for, uh, but 12-day versus the 26-day when it passes over, of course, uh, being a buy signal indicating a bull trend. Now, right now, we are under the 26, right? So selling pressure is in control right now but this is the one hour i bet if we look at the 30 we'll see it is passed over right so it's struggling right looks like it's about to pass over we can break it down to the 15 uh, and see we are starting to pass over so it could be the start of a new upward momentum however one thing we want to look for is any divergence so let me grab a trend here uh, and let's go back to the 30 Actually, let's take it all the way back to the hour, shall we? So we see the retracement here, and there is no divergence in here. Everything is confirmed. Now, divergence, what I'm looking for is clearly we have this move right here. Now, what I am looking for is any move down here that would be inverse to that. So if this was more of an uptrend, that would be a divergence. However, we do have it confirming the downtrend. So right now, we are going to watch this area right in here. What I could see happening as we come up, right, we touch the 50 cents before we try to go lower. Let's take it out to the 4 hour. Okay, so we're definitely going to be watching for the 4 hour to cross, um, the 2 hour. Yeah, so right now, if you are looking for an entry into XLM, this is exactly what I would look for. Let me remove this drawing here. I would look for one of two things. If you're looking to go long, I would look for a break, a retest, and then your entry would be right here on the confirmation of this upside. Now, inversely, if you're looking to go short, go ahead and do something like yay. Uh, if you are looking for a short position, I would look for the break downwards, the retest, and then of course you can take your short right there. Now seeing how this does, or if it does break retest and prove that uh, we are going to go long in it, what would be the price target? Well, let me remove the drawings here. Now for this we're going to take the Fibonacci extension, we're going to take point A, point B, so point A being the beginning of the impulse, point B being the end of the impulse, and C being where the impulse ended up, which would be right here, would be the lowest point. Now, as someone who scalps, someone who is just looking for a 
Um, really, I like to be in a position for an hour or two, but looking at this chart here, you know, it's probably going to be a position where we're going to set a price target for maybe 48 hours out. So I like 10%, but I feel like there may be closer to 20 on this. Again, I am not a financial advisor. I am not a professional trader. Never listen to what anybody says on social media. Do your own due diligence, your own research. But what I would be looking to do, seeing if we break this pennant right here, Okay, if we break this to the upside, I'm going to be looking for uh, 571 as my first target, and my second target would be 061. Now this means I get 100% of my position on confirmation, I unload 60% of my position at the first target, and the other 40% of my position at the second target. Now this is seriously this is independent this is personal uh, this is how i would trade this chart if i was going to take a position into xlm the positions i have are over here on the right side flagged uh, luna through cardano so i'm not personally an xlm again do not take any positions based on what you hear on social media uh, always do your own research your own due diligence and always hit the thumbs up button below, guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you on the next video.